Hi there everyone, this is Mario from M Studio and welcome to a new episode of Learning to Go. Today in the menu we have 3D tracking with After Effects. 3D tracking is not hard, but before you grab your keyboards and mice, you should know the three main rules to properly solve a tracking plate. Number one, 3D tracking needs parallax. There must be a pronounced distance between the elements in the scene when the camera moves, ideally something clearly close, in between and far from the viewpoint. Number two, no out of focus or motion blur. The shot has to be as sharp as possible. Number three, things in the scene must not move. People, plants, cars, clouds, everything that is not always the same across the whole shot cannot be tracked. We will see how to deal with this in a minute. Look at this footage. Very clear parallax. Pretty sharp image, no shallow depth of field and everything in focus. Most of the scene is still, except for these plants and this boat. To avoid tracking mistakes, all you have to do is to rotoscope a garbage mat around the area that you don't want to track and then pre-compose the layer asking After Effects to move all attributes into the new composition. Simple, huh? Now we are ready to start tracking. Go to the Animation menu and select Track Camera. Tracking happens in two steps, the analysis and the solving. You can always check here how far have you gone. If you get a red stripe telling you that the tracking could not be completed, Check the three rules mentioned before. The problem is probably there. If everything goes smoothly, you should get this field of colored crosses. First of all, create a camera. Then you have two options. Use three points to triangulate the position and orientation of a surface or use a single one as a position reference. Long story short, moving your cursor over the crosses, you might get this sort of target object. That's when you are using three points. If you want to use a single one, just move over it. In either cases, you have to right-click and choose between three main options. Create a text, a solid or a null. The element will correctly move in 3D space. And that's it. I told you it wasn't hard. Now is on you and on your imagination to benefit of this amazing technique. Yes, again, we are done for today. Remember to subscribe to my channel to be the first to know when a new tutorial is out. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter and this is Mario from M Studio and I think that if I'll see you again, it's probably gonna be next time.